morning everyone what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today is my first day of classes my last first day of classes actually this is the third time i've done a last first day of classes vlog but it's for real this time um, i didn't know my senior year spring semester that i'd be going to grad school at the time and i said it was my last first day in the fall but really this is truly my last like first day um semester wise so i'm about to go to class i have class at 9 30 until 10 45 and then 11 and 12 15 2 to 3 15 and 3 30 to 4 45 today um and it's thursday so that's my schedule my first class is state and local tax and then my second class is um partnership tax third class is um just like special topics i think in accounting i looked at the syllabus last night and it's just like a bunch of different stuff and then my last class is um fraud and ethics so that's my schedule i'm studying tax accounting in my master's program here at alabama and i went here for undergrad as well and studied accounting and finance for those of you that are new here so we are about to head out the door and get going I've literally changed like three times i'm just like confused because i know in the classroom it's going to probably be warm with the building i'm in I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now but i'm just like so torn because i want to be able to wear this jacket so i can like be layered and warm while i am outside but then like going inside i don't need to be that warm so i had like a lulu shirt on i had a hoodie on this morning and now i'm in a sweatshirt and now i'm debating changing it again but jackets aritzia sweatshirts just like an alabama alumni sweatshirt from jcg apparel and then these joggers are Lululemon Adapted State joggers. They're really cute. This is my first time wearing them. They have like the little logo right there and then they zip on an ankle. Pockets and like the drawstring waistband, which is nice, but I'm like really torn on what I'm wearing, so. Changed again back to the hoodie. It's just the comfiest option and I figured I probably shouldn't be basing my outfit on the jacket I'm gonna be wearing outside for like 10 seconds because I'm gonna be in class all day, so I wanna be comfortable. everyone just got home from my first two classes they went well my first class with state and local tax was mainly just going over like syllabus what we're doing this semester and um like tax law changes and stuff and it's crazy because we were just like talking about how uh, like our age of like g just being a graduate student and going into um working in public accounting and everything it's kind of crazy just with all of the changes in tax law that have just happened <laughs> over the years like while we've been an undergrad now in grad school and then like going into starting work like surprisingly like not tired i thought i would be by now but it is only 12 30 so i'm sure i'm gonna crash um later. but my class is later my two o'clock class is online just for um i think until like uh, just the next few weeks i guess um so that one i am doing from home on my computer which is kind of nice because i won't have to leave for another like three or well two and a half hours but it'll be tricky getting to class on my 3 30 class on time since my zoom class at 2 doesn't end until 3 15 if it ends at that time so two more classes left hopefully gonna work out after um that's what i want to do because i want to be able to take i'm trying to do five days this week and i've done three so i want to go today so that i can take off a day this weekend and i don't have to go friday saturday and sunday i'd really like to take saturday off the gym so i'd really like to go today and tomorrow but that's my plan um, I have a few edits to make to a video for a sponsorship, so I'm going to do that really quickly just so I can go ahead and sub submit it while the business day is still on and drink some water. Right now. 
now I'm going to heat up some leftover rice from dinner last night and just throw some of these Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons in the air fryer really quick for lunch. Got some pina colada, look what I be, and I'm enjoying my class right now. It's like two o'clock and I am really wanting a nap. Okay, my online class got done at like 2.45. And I was so happy because I realized I could lay down and take a power nap. And I did. I fell asleep for probably like 10 minutes and I feel fully rejuvenated and recharged now. So thank God, even though this next class probably isn't gonna last the full time, I just knew that I would be struggling to keep my eyes open. But I'm going to go ahead and head off. Um, it's 3.13, so I've got a little bit, but still wearing the same thing. Let's go. guys i'm out of class i just actually ran in plato's closet i'm in the parking lot right now um it's five o'clock and i just picked up my stuff that i dropped off the other day i got 115 dollars. we love that granted it was like 32 things i think she said so that's like nothing for 32 things but it's okay i did not want to go through the trouble of trying to sell it um there are some things at home that i kept that are just like really good condition and stuff that i will put on poshmark eventually so just keep your eyes out on that or mercari or something um and I'm going to go run the Publix because I also really want to make these healthy cookies on an Instagram account from an Instagram account that I love. I need to get ingredients for that as well. It's Thursday night, having a very relaxed, chill night, which I just want to like soak up the relaxation this weekend because I don't really have any assignments this weekend. Um, my stuff doesn't really start until next Tuesday. And the good thing about my classes, my law class, obviously my only grade is going to be my final and then one of my classes it's just midterm and final and the midterms not till march and then two of my classes we just don't have tests um it's more project based and then my other class is we don't have we might have like if we want to take the final for our grade we can but um he says he's never had anyone take it before because their grade's always fine so i'm really pumped about that but that doesn't mean it's not going to be hard i think a lot of this stuff's going to be application based. I did learn that my special topics in accounting class is actually just ASC 740, the income tax footnote. Um, two of my professors like collaborated with KPMG and Thomson Reuter. Thomson, I can't say whatever. You guys know what I'm saying if you're in accounting. And um, basically collaborated with them and like a lot of the big four firms say that that's like what they want their incoming staff to like be really knowledgeable on so that's what the class is centered on it's the first time they're doing this class for us so it's exciting but it's also like kind of crazy because like we're the first ones doing this class so let's run the Publix I'm listening to Manifest with Tori DeSimone right now love her podcast it's like one of the only ones I actually listen to like every single week um and a lot of times I don't listen to her as weekly but I like actually listen to all of her episodes I've been talking for a while let's go I am back home about to make dinner and we're going to be making homemade pizza tonight. So first up, preheat the oven to 425 and um, normally I make my pizza in the air fryer as you all know, but the naan I bought is like flatbread naan, specifically like more for pizza. So it is um, a lot larger and unfortunately cannot easily fit in my air fryer. I could just cut them in half and do like four separate rounds, but I, that would take like 35 minutes as opposed to like 12 minutes in the oven. So what you need for air fryer pizza or <laughs> any pizza, whatever, whether you're making it home or in the air fryer or in the oven, I use non. It's a thousand times better than store-bought pizza crust. Store-bought pizza crust is the scum of this earth. And the non is way better, more flavorful. It bakes better and everything like that. You will need pizza sauce. My personal favorite is the Rouse um, homemade pizza sauce. And then you need cheese. I typically get a part skim Italian style cheese or um, something of the sorts like mozzarella. And this is key, getting some basil pasto. This Classico brand is probably one of the better ones I found at the store. So this, and then you'll need um, oregano, sea salt, 
garlic and whatever toppings you like and those are all toppings i know but for me we really like or for us we like pineapple on our pizza so i normally buy a can of pineapple and just take the pineapple pieces and then i like fresh garlic the most so what i'm doing right now before i like actually prepare the pizzas is um my parents got me this they have one of their own so i've like seen how it works it's like this ninja blade chopper thing and it's so much better than like the ones where you like hand pound it yourself but it's literally so incredible and it can like chop anything in just a few seconds so you just plug it in and then stick this thing on and then once it's on i have just like a couple cloves of garlic down there and just like that that was like three seconds and all my garlic is chopped so yeah the main core ingredients that you just like must have to me are just the cheese non pesto sauce and then i highly highly recommend freshly chopped garlic so my personal toppings in addition to the pineapple and oregano and salt are um some type of protein we've done uh chicken sausage before and we do pepperoni sometimes i'm not a huge fan of pepperoni so i usually don't do that but i'm really hungry haven't had much protein today so i picked up a rotisserie chicken when i went in Publix, and i'm just going to like pull this and put that on top of our pizzas and the way to make the flatbreads like crispier is to cook them directly on the rack so i'm going to prepare them here and then um stick them straight in the oven i want to add if you have a trader joe's near you um highly recommend buying their um fresh dough in the fridge section they sell like it's in a plastic wrap and they have like this herb dough and it smells incredible it tastes better than any pizza restaurant i've ever been to because it's super fresh and you just have to use it within the week it's a lot more flavorful and fresh than the naan is Product, had it in for about seven minutes directly on the rack so it's nice and crispy and very hot the best Sauvignon Blanc Kim Crawford or at least the best for the price it's like yeah, I'm not <laughs> it's like $15 at Target 16 at Publix but it's so smooth so good I love it I was gonna get red wine because it like goes more with the pizza vibe I feel like but I just ended up going with my tried and true dinner was so good you guys the griffin didn't finish his pizza but i finished mine anyways it was so good i'm finishing up my wine right now i'm gonna go sit on the couch turn on some youtube videos lay with ella and work on my notion i just want to get it done because i'd really like to get a video filmed this weekend for it um i really want to i'm i've told you guys before i'm like trying to pivot my like videos and everything and just like include different stuff um i love vlogging and everything but my days are extremely similar during the semester, so it's really hard to differentiate things sometimes. So I think the Notion video will be fun. I've had a lot of y'all ask me if um, I could do a Notion video. And I've really been creating my own template. I fell in love with messing around with it last night. And I'm like pretty much done with it for the most part, but there's like little details that I think will make a big difference. And I just wanna see if there's any more sections I wanna add. I'm gonna make some healthy or healthier cookies. Um, here in a minute and I'm talking to a few people about bringing them on the podcast, which is really exciting I don't know if anyone else does this but when I cook I like race myself to finish loading the dishwasher before dinner gets done Oh my gosh, you guys It's like 12 25 i've not stayed up this late in a minute but griff and i decided to finish our last like i think we had two episodes left of bridgerton that we hadn't watched since we were at home in florida and so we were like oh let's finish it tonight and i just bawled my eyes out during the last episode but now i'm gonna take Ella out <laughs> do my nightly stuff take a body shower and go to bed but i'm so mad that i stayed up this late um i mean it's okay because it's thursday night and i don't have to do anything tomorrow but I would like to keep my routine up, you know, but thank you all for watching today's vlog this first day of classes. I love you all so much. Be sure to subscribe down below, turn on post notifications, check out my podcast, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
follow me on my social media down below and um yeah turn on post notifications and i look forward to seeing you all in my next video bye